Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is John Hammond, and welcome back to another YouTube video tutorial. We're still looking at Python. Uh, we made a cool little thing here that actually doesn't do a whole lot, but it's going over the basics, conceptual stuff with input and output and variables. And now we're going to move on. This time around, since we're starting to get into more actual cool and important and things, programs that actually do stuff, we're going to have to make sure our code is good. <laughs> we have to make sure our code is compliant with Python standards and things like that. So in Python, there's this actual thing like that's called PEP8. It's the uh, it's a standard and kind of a visual style guide that Python has set out to make sure the Python code that you write is pretty smart. <laughs> and I don't know, similar to everything else that other people write. So it discusses things about indentation, discusses uh, arguments. Uh, how, how much how much spacing you should have between uh, code, how you should comment things and display variables, etc., etc. I recommend you totally read through this, but there is something that can kind of help our code be this way. Um, so I'm going to actually run through a little presentation that was put together by Audrey Roy. Seems like a really awesome individual. Uh, she was doing a bunch of cool stuff with Python. And this thing is on the internet is a uh, Python tricks you can't live without. And it's really about code readability, style, comments, etc., and how to make your Python code awesome, clear, and understandable. Um, it really gets into self documenting code. Um, it really gets into making sure that you're documenting things with comments and doc strings. And it gets into the Zen of Python too. Python is, is something that's not only a programming tool, but also a conceptual thing where you have a certain code style and, I don't know, a way of programming that is supposed to be great. So I want to show this off, this this module that keeps in mind Python's philosophy as you as you are a software developer and a software engineer. So I'm going to fire that up in idle, uh, just so it's a Python interpreter that looks pretty good. If you haven't heard of Idle, it is the integrated development learning environment, I think, for Python. Uh, if you don't have it installed, you can sudo apt-get install Idle, and then you should be able to install it just fine. I've already have it installed, so I'll fire it up. And in, inside Idle, we can import this, the syntax that they're using right there, just importing a module in Python, and it tells us about the Zen of Python. Beautiful is better than ugly, explicit is better than implicit, etc., etc. Really just this philosophy and mindset that we should have when you're writing Python code. So to do that, we want to be in line with that Python PEP8 standard. PEP8 really argues that you should have been using four spaces, no tabs, blank lines, etc., etc. So it's good to have all this stuff in the back of your mind, but it would be pretty awesome if we had some tools that could make sure our Python code does this. Just tools that automate the process for us. Like some plugins in Sublime Text 2. Let's check out and install this. Sublime Linter is apparently something that can do this for us. We can install that package in Sublime Text. I just hit Control shift p to get the command palette up. And then Sublime Linter, after I search for a package... It should, okay, now it's just installed. Awesome. So now in our Python code, Sublime Linter looks like it's already uh, cranking stuff out for us. It really hates all of my spaces. So let's convert. Um, Looks like I can't find it in the menu as to how to convert our tabs to spaces, but we should be able to do it in the command palette. Yeah, indentation, convert to spaces, and that works just fine for us. Um, and all of this trailing stuff within parentheses I shouldn't have because PEP8 does not like that. It wants to have... All of everything with inside parentheses it wants to have no spaces. So, okay, Sublime Linter looks pretty awesome for us. And what else is there? Command line PEP8 checker. Oh, it looks like that's just a tool PEP8 we can probably set up and install. If I actually look into our terminal, it is something that we can install from the repositories. Uh... 
Awesome. So now that pep8 is available, we can run that on the script that we just ran, and we don't have any output or any errors, so it looks like we're good. PyLint looks like it can do pretty similar stuff. Let's check that out. PyLint. PyLint. On our variables. Oh, wow. This is really cool. I actually haven't seen this before. Valid constant name. I wonder what all that stuff is. Checking line comes length. Variable names are well formed according to your coding standard. This is really cool. I actually haven't seen Pylint before. So this is definitely something to look into if you are interested in the kind of stuff that it looks like it's given out. Invalid name. Huh. What else is there? And then the rest of this goes into important stuff that you can do with Python that's pretty awesome. Um, but I really wanted to show off the PEP8 standard. I really recommend you read through this. Um, but the Sublime Lint uh, package that we just installed looks like it'll be really awesome for us. It'll make sure that the code that I write and also the code that you guys write is within the PEP8 standard. Because, actually, I recorded a lot of these videos uh a while back and the standard that I use I had like really disgusting code braces that would represent like co I actually commented out cold code braces to represent my logic flow and I would end each line in Python with a semicolon which was just hideous and no one liked it <laughs> I got I got a lot of flack for it so I'm trying to do a lot better with this time around so having these tools like pep8 that command line utility and now pylint I want to look more into that and sublime linter to keep things within the pep8 standard that should be pretty cool um and I hope you guys enjoy it and can actually follow along and use that same same tool with me. So, all right, uh, that's really all I want to show off in this tutorial. Nothing big, but keeping track with that pep8 standard and making sure the code that we write is within a certain compliant standard thing. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.